Remember last week when we taught you how to have the most perfect Valentine's Day ever? It would have been nice. Yeah, it was an epic failure. Yeah, it didn't happen. It was a complete disaster. Rude. So whether your boyfriend broke up with you, or you just got stood up, or you're just flying solo this year, here are five ways to make Valentine's Day a little bit more bearable. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Domestic Partners, where we talk food, drink, and all things failing related to Valentine's Day. I'm Aida from AidaMullenCamp.com. I'm Gabby from What'sGabbyCooking.com. And this week we're talking about Valentine's Day fails and how to survive them. The five things you need in order to make it through. Number one, we need some trashy magazines. And I'm not talking one or two, I need like 12. I need lots of gossip. And that's why number two is also trashy TV. Hours and hours and hours of reality TV. Number three, a good bottle of booze. One for you and one for me. Cheers. And number four, of course, is your favorite comfort food and a lot of it. What's yours? Oh, mine's cheese too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> number five is a good friend because who wants to spend Valentine's Day pouting by yourself when you can be with one of your girls like this girl right here? Because really, who wants to go through Valentine's Day without a friend? This is true. This week's Food for Thought is brought to you by Valentine's Day Fails. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Valentine's Day sucks. But not with you. For more domestic partner episodes like this one, be sure to check out our YouTube channel and subscribe below. And let us know what was your biggest Valentine's Day fail. We want to know. We can all send it together. Mm -hmm. See you next week.